Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. This is going to be uh, kind of an unusual one. I've been playing with Windows 10 on this little bitty Acer 1 laptop. Now it's kind of souped up. It's not the normal Acer 1 that you've seen around. Uh, I don't even know if they make them anymore. but. They didn't make very many of this model. It's got an AMD dual core processor in it. It doesn't have that Atom processor. It's an AMD 64-bit dual core. And it's also got 4 gig of memory. They made a few of these before they stopped production. Uh, and I just happened to stumble on one at a good price. So. Uh, it's kind of my experimental uh, laptop that I play with. I had uh, Linux on there and Windows 7, but I wanted to do a test of Windows 10, especially to see if it would uh, run a bunch of uh, ham radio software. So here it is uh, running on a laptop. This is what you get when you boot up, and if you just click it, uh, you get your log on screen. I'm going to log on right now. And there we go. And I've logged on to Windows 10. <clears throat> what I did was I uh, wiped the drive and then I created two uh, partitions. A great big one for Windows 10 and another one that's got about 30 gig on it as drive D uh, just in case I want to put uh, uh, Linux back on here so anyway it's running uh, it's got about a three, 250 gig drive that it's running on right now and so here's the screen hey doesn't that look familiar to you Windows 7 now I've made a lot of changes to the way it actually comes when uh, it first arrives and you've installed it. I've actually put a bunch of icons, as you can see, software onto the desktop. Uh, Recycle Bin, uh, Google Chrome, Firefox, um, all my ham software is in this folder right here. Uh, CC Cleaner, and there's my partitioning software. I'm eventually going to get rid of that, but I'm still using it. And you get a little taskbar, and you can pin things to the taskbar just like you do in Windows 7. You just right click the execute file, and it gives you a couple of choices. Uh, one of them is to pin it to the taskbar. And as you can see, I've got some pinned to the taskbar, including Netflix. <coughs> I've tested all this software and everything seems to run just great. No problem. Alright, I haven't had a bit of problem. I've, I've used, uh, eh, let me open up the folder and I'll just show it to you. I've used uh, all this uh, ham radio software that you see coming up right now. Uh, since I uh, loaded the preview version I've actually run it run every bit of this on my ICOM 7200 which uses a USB cable uh, directly connected to the radio so I was able to install the USB driver uh, that comes from ICOM onto here for that particular radio and no problems and everything runs just fine. <coughs> So what I'm going to do next is kind of pause the video. I'm going to get a close-up of the screen so that I can show you a few things about Windows 10. Kind of a neat... Uh, I'm going to just step right out there and tell you I like it better than Windows 7. Which, that's saying a lot. I like it better than Windows 7. And it does have some bugs in it. I'll tell you what those bugs are that I've discovered already but most of them are reported on their preview forum uh, that people that download this can have access to that forum and give them feedback on any problems that they find running the software so I've also given my feedback <coughs> to Microsoft on 
the problems, but it's the ones they already knew about with this particular build. So let's pause and get a real close up of the screen. Okay, so we're, I kind of zoomed in. I hope you got a good view of the screen now. And as you can see, I'm running, uh, I've already tested DX View, which gives you uh, map location of any DX contacts uh, and a, kind of a map of the world and where they're located and the direction that you should point your beam. So I'm running that. I've, uh, I've run FL Digi. I've run Free DV. The old ham clock, uh, <coughs> ham radio deluxe, JT65HF, uh, XM log, which is a logging program, and then the W5JTX, uh, JT65JT9, and also the Whisper program, and they all work just fine. In fact, the ham clock is the oldest <laughs> software. It actually came out during, uh, I believe, XP, and uh, when Windows XP was out, and I'll just crank it up for you. And there you go, and it's running just fine uh, on Windows 10. So uh, even that old XP ham clock seems to work. So let's close these windows out just exactly like you would do in Windows 7 or XP for that matter and we're back to what's called the desktop. Now I've got the taskbar being hidden so if I go down here it'll pop up again. There it is. <coughs> and uh, if you click the start button which is right over here you get the old Metro tiles if you remember that and you get a list of software all right a la windows 7 kind of neat these are live tiles i've changed a bunch of them because you can remove these and replace them with whatever software you downloaded you can put them over here if you like so i put <clears throat> the my computer is now this pc i put that over here because i use it all the time so if i double click that I get uh, you know the old uh, here's your C drive D drive the various folders pictures you know just real similar to Windows 7 so I put that on the Metro tiles alright so let's show you some of these other ones that are available here and uh, of course you can scroll the screen down you just come over here on the right and click it and you know you can scroll up and down just with the bar you can see I got Mozilla Fox I've got the Google US weather map here's the settings which uh, is kind of important you can change everything on the computer with this and then here's my uh, ham radio software notice it even allows you to name the groups of uh, metro tiles. You can give it your own name, and I, I've got the name changed to Amateur Radio, and there's my Amateur Radio uh, software. And if you look up here, you can see I changed this to say Utilities, Docs, and Files. Okay, and there's File Explorer. You know, so if you click File Explorer, you get, you know, all the files that you can go through. Now here's the Start Menu Program buttons. Those are kind of neat too. So if we click it, we get this list of software. And you go, well, that sure doesn't look like it. Well, all you have to do is come down here and click where it says All Applications, All Apps and uh, you get a, an alphabetical listing of all the software that's on this computer so starting with the letter A uh, amateur radio there's the folder and if I click the down button there you can see everything that's in that folder and then of course I can continue down there's a CC cleaner the calculator the camera <clears throat> and keep going there's the DX lab which is the uh, DX view my documents are under D 
there's my Epson printer you can see that okay whoops hit the wrong one there we go there's FL Digi Flipboard which is right here it's kind of a neat uh, news app so I kept it uh, some getting started stuff you know uh, a little further down uh, insider hub is where you can post comments about the software uh, any bugs that you find things like that there's JT65 the mail maps music Netflix so it's alphabetical this is that al becomes alphabetical I actually prefer it uh, now to the one that's on Windows 7 it's more organized I've tested a lot of these apps like the mail it functions just fine I've got my account set up in there so if we click it <coughs> it opens up uh, Windows 10 mail <coughs> excuse me and here we go and you can see there's a couple of messages in there one from Glenn Fitzgerald at the Texas Astronomical Society and something about mail forwarding from EQSL which telling me I've got a new QSL card over there so it works pretty neat uh, works pretty neat if you click this little button right here you can of course uh, write a new message and send it okay right there so everything in this software so far has worked now here's the one here's a couple of the bugs Cortana which is Windows answer to Siri has lots of bugs in it normally it's down here mm -hmm. and all you do is click a microphone button and ask a question or you can type I turned it off because it had so many bugs in it half the time it wouldn't start uh, or it wouldn't let me type in here so I went in the settings and turned off Cortana but that's a known issue with this uh, particular build the other one is from time to time you will click the start menu and get nothing uh, it'll just sit here like this won't do anything these still all work you can right click it and you get a list of things that you can do like shut it down and things like that but you can't get back to those metro tiles sometimes it locks up and won't they won't come back you'll click it like that and nothing will come up that's another known issue with this build uh, so I'm hoping in the next build they get that stabilized a little bit have no idea why it works sometimes and not others I can't really put a, my finger on what causes it not to work some people say by hiding the taskbar that's the cause but in my case that's not the cause because I locked it and it still does it so um, that is not the cause so how do you shut this thing off well it, couple of ways there's a power button right here that you can just click and you get sleep shut down or restart or you can right click the start button and it says shut down right there and you get the same uh, kind of choices so let's go ahead and restart it we'll just restart it so here we go I've restarted it We'll just let that screen come up. So, right now, <laughs> I'm real happy with this. It works almost as well as finished software. Got a few bugs in it, but uh, all in all, it's run everything I could throw at it, including Flash. So, you can go to YouTube and play all the videos and do all that stuff. No problem. And uh, real happy with it. So with that said, that's a little look at uh, the latest build of Windows 10 that came out uh, in May of 2015. So this is the latest edition in May, and I'm kind of waiting for the next one to come out. 
So until next time, as I usually say, I wish you clear skies and 73, and remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. Let's see if I can time it so the screen comes back on. There it is. Y'all be good. Have a great day. See y'all later.